Michael Morton, who is the man who spent 25 years in prison for that murder he did not commit, says that he is not bitter. And he also says he's not looking for revenge. Let's get the very latest reaction from Michael Morton himself, from our Shannon Wolfson, who spoke to him just minutes after today's hearing. Shannon. Leslie, he says he's not bitter or vengeful, but Michael Morton is looking for justice. And for the first time today, he talked a lot more about what he's lost. I lost all of my son's youth. He's 28 now. Uh, it's all gone. A lot of other things are gone. My relationship with my in-laws. Uh, in about a quarter century of my life. And yet, this is a good day. A good day indeed. For the first time in more than 25 years, there are no murder charges hanging over Michael Morton's head. He's still limited about what he can say publicly, though, because he is now very likely going to be a witness in the murder case against Mark Norwood, who is now charged with... Mrs. Morton's murder connected to that scene through DNA. Now, this day was important for the Morton family, no doubt. Michael's surrounded by his siblings and his parents and his attorneys. But they are quick to point out there is a long road ahead to justice. As you heard Chris mention earlier, they want this public investigation into why evidence was not turned over that could have prevented this wrongful conviction. Revenge is a natural instinct, but it's not what I'm asking for here. <coughs> Just accountability. Well, there was another very powerful moment after the court hearing today as Michael Morton came face to face with a man who says he could be in Michael Morton's shoes. That is the husband of Deborah Baker, who also that murder linked to Mark Norwood through DNA, although no charges have been filed yet in that case. We're going to show you that face to face meeting tonight on KXAN News at 6. For now, we're live in Williamson County. Shannon Wolfson, KXAN News.